it's really easy to understand how it's better to not have to run wires to instruments and devices that you install in a plant. Instead of going up five, five feet, over five feet, down five feet, it's wireless, go from here to there. So when I started working in wireless, whenever we went to talk to a customer, we always had to bring you know, a big case with a gateway and a few devices, and we would put the gateway in the meeting room and set the devices up around. And customers had to really see them connect to believe that it was gonna work and that it would work at their facility, even though it had worked at the other facilities just like theirs. Um, and now when we go in and talk to customers, we're more focused on the business impact of it and that, that angle. Once customers experience wireless, they, they get hooked on it. They see how well the networks form up and perform. They uh, love the more information that we're sending them, getting out of a device. Of course, they love the installed cost, the cheaper you know, installation cost on there. So the beauty of wireless is that it doesn't, it's not industry specific. You could be a steel mill, you could be a refiner, you could be a chemical company or a pharmaceutical company. And somewhere in your plant, your plant can benefit from using wireless technology. Most of our customers have managed to put in sensors and software that automates their process, but there are so many other work processes they do, especially in reliability, that they're, they're going kind of blind. It would be like in the old days when you used to leave on a trip without any information about traffic or weather or road conditions, but now we all have real-time data on that. So as we look at the Internet of Things, we're going to be providing real-time data on other application areas like reliability and the software and the analytics that go along with that to enable you to actually make very intelligent decisions about what to do. All of a sudden it opens up the doors to all kinds of new opportunities. The steam trap monitoring is one great example that they thought that uh, we'll just spend our time walking around for those. Um, but now we've got them a real-time way to monitor their steam systems. Those kind of things um, are going to, again, provide a data explosion that we can in turn as Emerson um, provide them applications to take all that data and turn it into information. So we've developed a whole line of software products now that actually help them. For example, we call it Plant Web Insight, but it's the idea of how do I actually visualize massive amounts of data, run it through some sort of deep analytics, and then turn it into something, again, so simple my mother could use it, and to try to make it pop out to them about this is what I need to go work on today and fix. You know, we're no longer pioneering the technology. It's there. And I just think the, um, you know, there's no limit to it.